Qualcomm details Snapdragon 835 chipset at CES 2017. Paytm gets RBA approval to launch payment bank. Kingston introduces 2TB flash drive. Le Eco unveils bikes that run on Android-based bike OS. This is day 4 of 2017 and you are watching Phone Arena Daily. Qualcomm today at CES 2017 event detailed its flagship Snapdragon 835 chipset which is the first processor based on the 10 nanometer FinFET process technology as per the company claims. It is 35% smaller and uses 25% less power than its previous designs and is engineered to deliver exceptional long battery. The Qualcomm Adreno 540 visual processing subsystems offers an advanced 3D graphics rendering and up to 60% more color for the lifelike visual for the most immersive experience life technology. It also has the Qualcomm Quick Charging 4 technology that is 20% faster, 30% more efficient than Quick Charge 3.0 and can charge from 0 to 50 in just 15 minutes. The processor also has a Qualcomm Haven security suit with the support for fingerprint, iris scanning, facial recognition and voice print and other security features that are designed to safeguard your personal information. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 power devices will be available sometime in the first half of 2017. It seems India's leading mobile payment company Paytm has officially received a final nod from the Reserve Bank of India to launch Paytm payment banks. Paytm is also expected to launch the payment bank operation in February with the pilot being kickstarted in Noida and Uttar Pradesh. In fact, Paytm merged its digital wallet business to the newly incorporated Paytm Payment Bank Limited after the receipt of necessary RBA approvals. Yesterday, Paytm has also added UPay integration to its digital wallet. At the CES 2017 event, Kingston Digital today announced the Data Traveler Ultimate GT with a 2TB of storage, making it the world's largest capacity flash drive. It can accommodate up to 70 hours of 4K UHD resolution videos and has a USB 3.0 connector for the faster data transfer. The Kingston Data Traveler Ultimate GT is available in 1TB and 2TB capacities and backed by 5 years of warranties as well. It is also compatible with all the major desktop operating systems, but we still don't know the pricing or the availability of the flash drive yet. La Eco has announced two new smart bikes called as a La Eco Smart Bike and a Smart Mountain Bike at the ongoing CES 2017 event. This bike sports a 4-inch touchscreen display, runs on quad-core Snapdragon 410 processor and is powered by a 6000mAh rechargeable lithium-ion battery as well. The system provides turn-by-turn -turn navigation tailored for bicycle riding from here maps, online and offline music playback, walkie-talkie communication with other nearby compatible La Eco Smart Bikes and a ride logging as well. These smart bikes also offers an automatic onboard lighting horn and a security alarm as well. Additionally, the electronics in both the model are water resistant with IP54 ratings. The new smart bikes will be available in the US market in the second quarter of 2017. Today's deal of the day is an offer on SanDisk Ultra 16GB microSD card available at a price of Rs 359 on Flipkart. You can buy it from the link in the description below. And this brings us to the point of today's discussion. Which smartphone do you think will come with the Snapdragon 835 chipset first? Do let us know in the comment section below and this is Vignesha signing off.